apologize about all the stop starts. It's been a bit of an issue. Also, now that I think about it, having a look at the time, I'm not sure I've got too much time left before the uh, something I need to go to starts. So, if that's the case, I do apologize. Be kind of sad if I like started this all up just for it to end almost immediately. Well, I screwed that up. Ow. Ashley, get down, Mrs. President! Oh no, now they're saying worm. Okay. I love how in certain areas you can't actually confirm if they're dead. Oh, fuck me. Like some areas you can't actually confirm if they're dead or not until, you know, they disappear. Oh boy. Oh, pardon me. Okay, he's dead. Let's keep moving. Okay, that should be fine. And... Good, okay. Ashley, you're useless. I really do hate this part. I should probably mention that a bit more. So, how's the audio now, Stevie? Is that a bit better, or does it still need a bit more tweaking? Because I can lower it, I can increase it. What's it need? And I won't lie, it is really pissing me off when it turns out that I've been streaming this whole time and no one bothered to tell me that there was no game audio. The audio is perfect, that's fantastic. Also, I now see... Oh, wait, what the hell? I can see that the messages for what people are saying is popping up in the actual chat, like in that little box in the top right, but it's only appearing for like a split second. I wonder if I can modify that. Oh well. Okay, hi there. And... As the Germans say... Well, French, bon voyage. <laughs> uh. Hey Steve, you know what you should do is uh, send the message out to a couple of other people, let them know that the stream's going on. See if anyone else you know has like a Resident Evil boner. And yes, I did just call it a Resident Evil boner. I have a problem! And let's not even get started on the drinking problem. <laughs> Aw, thanks man! To be honest, I didn't even have the chance to share it over Twitter yet, just because I've been so busy, just... Because, see, my whole deal with, um, doing streaming is, like, not only would I love to do it as a job so I can finally, like... Because don't get me wrong, I love the work I do currently, but I'd love to just have, like, a wider audience and be able to entertain people for a living. And then, once I've started entertaining people for a living, to be able to use some of the money that I make to also, like, donate to charity so they can work towards making cures for things and whatnot. Also, if you actually scroll down or moved your finger down the uh, page, you can actually see I've got a whole bunch of things set up. I'm going to be trying to, like, work on that a bit over time. Okay, actually, you holding your hip like that is actually... Wait, God damn it! I didn't mean to use that on... I meant to use that on you. Yeah, like, I want to, that's the thing, if I ever did earn enough money, or, like, I won the lottery or something, I'd probably use most of it towards charity. 
Because I've got my own disability as well. I've got something called hemophilia. But I don't let it hold me back. I like to think of it as... Like, it's a challenge, don't get me wrong. But even though it is a challenge... Again, you don't let challenges hold you back. You strive to get stronger from them, and that's what I plan to do. And you bite the dust. Is that a mother truck and Jojo reference? Another one bites the dust? <laughs> oh, I have a problem. Some, I, like, seriously need help. <laughs> Mental help, not a uh, physical help. Oh, I can take care of myself physically. <laughs> I am all over the shop right now. Is this what alcohol does to me? This is why you don't drink, kids. If there's any kids watching this on YouTube, this is why you don't drink. But yeah, um, Steve, did you actually manage to get around to seeing the YouTube edition of this whole thing? Damn it, I can't go through that door either. Well, not this one, but like the previous video, because that one went actually really well. Though, interestingly enough, UMG ended up sending a copyright strike on it. So I sent, because I'm not sure if you saw the Dead Cells version of it, because I remember you had to go to work. But anyway, so... Wait, was that green? Please tell me that wasn't green. Damn it, it was green. I wanted yellow. I'm colorblind, so I can't tell. <laughs> Wait. But, um, as I was saying... Uh, I sent a message to Twin Studios, which are the guys who created Dead Cells, who I ended up doing the uh, Follow me. part of that Twitch stream where I did like, you know... Oh god, hi! Die. It's very difficult to talk and kill these guys at the same time. I am bad at multitasking. Anyway, so I sent a message to them, and I ended up getting, like, three responses to them, and I was like, oh my god. Because I am a massive fan of their work. Like, if I ever... Because they've also got the whole Twitch integration thing going on, where, like, you can have people, like, control your game and everything while you play. Honestly, like, Dead Cells is a fantastic game, and if you haven't played it, Johnny... Uh, sorry, Johnny. Uh, <laughs> Stevie, I would really recommend you play it, because it is fantastic. Difficult and like beyond crazy, but it's so fun. Okay, I got a hand grenade. Oh god, I'm oh no, I'm dead. Ah! Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> uh, I wish I could just have the whole screen just like. Fade to black when that happens. Okay. So we're gonna go this way. Kick him in the head! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, I can't beat a man who can shoot you through your shields! I'm a genius. Ashley, why would you stand up when I'm in the middle of shooting someone? I think I'm gonna hold on to the, uh... Yeah. Hold on... Oh no, here we go. <laughs> yeah, hold on to the shotgun rounds for the shield blows... Blows? Dudes, and then use the... Pistol for everything else. I swear, with like the fast clicking I'm doing, I could be going for a speed run. <laughs> But yes, Steve, tell me about your uh, New Year's man, unless you don't want to because you know, like, well, it's going to appear on YouTube, so, you know, you don't have to. My um, New Year's was uh, working, and my Christmas was spent with family, surprisingly enough. 
So we got, uh, yeah. Mine was surprisingly quiet in the sense that everyone was drunk off their ass. No. Bad tentacle. Oh! Shit, I didn't know that was a kill. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly, Belly, whoa. But yeah, also, um, another thing I just wanted to quickly reference. Man, I can't stay on topic for more than 10 seconds, can I? Uh, I actually now have a schedule that I'm going to be doing it every Tuesday, Saturday, and maybe Sunday. But I'm going to be honest, I doubt I'll be able to keep to that because my life is fucking crazy. And by it's fucking crazy, I mean that I literally have next to no control over the work shifts I do, so... Wow, right as I take the shot, just... Oh my god, what a shot! Oh my god, that was such a good shot. I love that shot. He appears a guy that requires a... Hi, shield man! But anyway, uh, Steve, how's your uh, Twitch stuff going? You haven't, I haven't been getting any notifications about you uh, streaming or anything, so I was a bit worried that you've given up. Also, feel free to plug your channel here. I'm only giving you this privilege. No, you're not eating my face again. Because I'm not sure you see it, but um, I'm just going to be uploading the entirety of this stream to YouTube. Okay, green her, red her, ba ba ba. Wait, you play Diablo? Is this like Diablo Immortals, Diablo 3, Diablo what? I need to know this, because if it's Diablo 3, you can totally teach me how to play. I'm playing a Barbarian class, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But yeah, I have not received a single notification that you've gone live, and that's a bit annoying to me. Completely honest. Because I actually like your content. It's really good. And for anyone else who is watching this, should go watch We Stevie B on Twitch. I will probably put, when I put this on YouTube, I will probably put a link just so um, people can see. Because they should see your stuff, man. Because your stuff is actually awesome. And from what I understand, just correct me if I'm wrong, I can't remember this, but I think you do a little bit of charity work as well, don't you? I feel like I should pull you into a Discord call for this. Like, you can watch the thing and just mute the game itself and just listen to me, like, babble on while talking to you. <laughs> it's like, yes, Phoenix, for the hundredth time that you've asked me this, because you won't stop babbling. I do these things. Now, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I've got the Reaper of Souls edition on PC as well. But, uh, I can't remember where I am. I would stream Diablo 3, but yeah. Yeah, see, um, as you probably just saw it pop up, guys, he does charity streams. So that's another reason why you should go join him and, like, you know, follow him on Twitch and the works. Again, I will put links in the descriptions for those on YouTube. Since I can't do it on Twitch at the moment, because I don't have a Twitch manager. Why, oh, why does Twitch... Hate me so, it wants to pull away my soul. Follow me. So I just love the setup of my current like thing. Button all. Yeah. 
I've also found out for anyone just joining me that these guys are goblins. Oh, hi! I swear, if I hit Ashley again after all this effort, I would be so pissed. Can you imagine if, like, after all this, like... Ow. Like, all this, it goes back to that whole thing that I told everyone to clip and just be like... The whole spin around, no scope, just instantly kill Ashley when I'm meant to be saving her. It's like... Oof! Oh, that was a painful moment in gaming history. Top 10 moments that were utter fails in gaming history. Number 10, Burger King Foot Lettuce. Cause I'm an original meme. Yeah. Fun fact, I actually, oh, what, what? Why did my brain not register the shield, man? Please stay dead. No. Oh, fuck. Yeah, um, like I was saying. Fun fact, I actually saw, like, the whole thing, like, the meme of Burger King Foot Lettuce before it became, like, a big meme. Uh, who was it? I know the guy, like, like, well, I don't know him personally. But... What? You're telling me the sniper goes through the shielding and headshot? Boring. Yeah, as I was saying, I saw it originally, I can't remember the name, but I just thought it was so interesting because it was like top 10 creepy things that ex-employees have done. And because I've worked in that kind of business before, I've worked in fast food, I've worked in dish cleaning before, I've worked in that kind of thing. And I, like, the thing is, you really don't, until you've worked in that kind of business, like fast food or retail, you don't understand how much of an asshole people can be. Liam will operate. Because all the cultists are dead. Yeah, seriously. I've had so many bad experiences from when I worked in fast food because it's... I just want to say, it always seems like people don't realise that the people who work in fast food are people as well. It's like, you just exist to give me my food, and that's all you're good for. It's like, uh, no, I have purpose in this world. This is just my starting job, and just because you're not getting your food at the time you want, doesn't mean you can treat me any less. I had times, I'm not gonna name the company, because, like, God knows I probably signed a DCM or some, like, disclosure agreement that says, Oh no, you can't talk about us behind our backs, but, you know, we'll talk shit about you when you leave. Um, yeah, I found out they actually have been talking shit since I left, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, thanks for making me seem like a good employee when I worked my ass off for you. But anyway, um, I did a delivery job a couple of years back, uh, before my current job, and the thing is, yeah, man, see, that's why I would love to work in a, watch out for me. uh, yes, I will watch out for you. Cause your butt will never die. Do, 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 God, she got taken quick. Oh yeah. I actually completely forgot I get attacked too. This is why I hate this section. Oh, come the- Oof! That actually really hurt my throat. Please send help. <laughs> but my heart will never die. I've got that song fucking stuck in my head now. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, the story was that... I was making a delivery for this guy, and it was just a pizza shop. I won't say which one. But anyway, so I was working for him, and... Like, I had just finished delivering about 30 pizzas to several different spots, and I don't know why my boss thought to himself, Oh, this is a good amount of pizzas for someone to deliver on their, like, second shift. And I was using my own car as well, so, you know. Anyway, so, 
I ended up doing that, sending, using my own fuel and everything to get there, and well, what ended up happening was, I got to the residence, and the guy just started screaming at me, They're like, oh, yeah, freaking five minutes late, I'm not paying for the pizza, you better give it to me for free, and I'm like, sorry, mate, I can't give you the pizza for free, I understand that, like, you know, because it's one of those businesses that's like, oh, you know, 30 minutes or you get your pizza free. I'm like, at first, like, we hadn't actually fully incorporated that into our business um, scheme yet. So I was just like, I'm sorry, sir, I can't actually do that yet. We haven't done it yet. And he's like, oh, well, I want it for free. Yada, yada, you're a terrible person. You should feel bad for doing it. I can't believe that you're late. I'm like, and I just, I couldn't believe this guy. Because these pizzas were five minutes late, when I had just finished delivering like 30 other pizzas, and I'm not kidding on that number, it was like 30, 40 pizzas I finished delivering. And he's just got the gall to treat me like absolute garbage. Sorry, just kind of focusing at the moment. But anyway, so, and that's not even the worst one. I remember I was delivering to this old man, and the thing is, I got there, like, I got his pizzas to him 10 minutes earlier than the actual recommended time, and he got pissy because it was early. He's like, I can't believe you're early. Like, how dare you? The pizzas aren't big enough. I wanted bigger pizzas. But you see, in Australia, there is no, like, large pizza for this restaurant. When you say you want a pizza, you get that size pizza. You don't get like a large because large doesn't exist. We have regular and regular. So when people complained and said like, oh well, we want large, like this is why this company now does large because people kept complaining that it wasn't a large. Sorry, I don't mean to complain so much about my old job, but like, seriously, people can be such assholes. I haven't missed any treasure besides that one. Okay, good. Oh no, I just realized something. I've got to literally go like this. Is... I have to go all the way around the map before I can get that treasure again, and it's going to be worth like nothing by the time I get there. But, um, yeah, like, this old man kept screaming at me for a refund, that he was demanding this refund, because I got his food to him earlier than he expected. And, like, that's not the way it works. And the thing is, in this kind of situation, you can't even defend yourself, because these people that you end up delivering food to belittle you so much. And I just... It's so infuriating at the same time as it is, like, like, yeah, it's infuriating at the same time. It's so sad because if you think about it, the only reason they're so pissy is because they were too freaking lazy to get up off their asses and go and order food themselves. Like, yes, I understand. Some people might have had a hard day, might have had a very hard um, day at work. But at the end of the day, we're all human beings, so... I don't see how that gives one type of person the right to have a go at another type of person. Especially in the sense, like, when it's a teenager who's just got, like, their pee plates or something, and another one who's just got their, um, or who's just starting out a job. Also, before I go off on tangents again, welcome to the two new viewers. Uh, I was just ranting about the time I used to work in fast food and saying to my good mate Stevie here, who you should definitely check out because he's a bloody legend. Um, that, also this is a nightmare part, yeah, I was just telling him about the time when I worked in fast food, because I worked in a few of them. But yeah, if you want, uh, feel free to follow the channel if you like what you see, and if you want to say hello in the chat, feel free to do so. It is always lovely to meet new people and make new friends, and that's how I sort of live my life. Get new friends, have a happy life, and have a happy landing. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the dick. 
dick shot. Hold on. Isn't there meant to be another dude that attacks? There he is. Wondering where he was. And boom. <laughs> hey! That, oh, god, no. I was about to say that's a spicy meeple, but that's not a spicy meeple. Hey, Jack, watch your language. He does more for charity than you do in your life. God damn it, Ashley! You know, I kind of wish there was a mod for Ashley, like... Because I know later on, like, once you beat the game about a hundred thousand times, you can give her, like, armor that the enemies try and pick her up, but they can't because she's too fucking heavy. Like a person that's eaten too much. Wait, sort of like me. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he's married, my dude. But yeah, I'd watch what you say, man. Relative or not, I will kick you out of this chat. This is a place of healing and a place of friendship. But seriously, we have Jack back, who's my Lester. <laughs> Steve, aren't you married, mate? I don't know, you just have that, like, from what I've seen in your live streams, you have that sort of confidence of someone who's married. So, you know. Again, don't mention it. If you don't want to say it, you don't have to. Because that's, you know, your private details. Oh, well, congratulations on being married. I, however, am in a happy relationship. So, yeah. Other person I'm with is currently overseas, so yeah. Well, Jack, you're proud of him, but literally less than a moment ago, you were calling him a virgin. <laughs> Double-sided much? <laughs> yes, Jack, my cousin, you're totally my husband. Thank you very much for pointing out the obvious. <laughs> anyway, I will be back in just a sec. Yep, yeah, so guys, I'm sorry, but I'm actually going to have to end off the stream here. I'm going to run forward to that save point. I really hope that there shouldn't be any enemies here. There really shouldn't. If there's an enemy here, I'm going to be pissed. But uh, the stream's going to end here purely because I've got a voice acting session to get to. Oh, wow, you can actually host people? Oh, that is cool! Hey! That's awesome. Uh, Stevie, I'll be coming back tomorrow, but actually at the moment the stream's ending, mate. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I appreciate you doing that, though. <laughs> uh, but anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed, of course, hit the follow. Uh, if you want to donate and help me out, that'd be fantastic. But of course, don't feel entitled to. And at the end of the day, I hope everyone has a lovely year. And I'm going to buy a broken butterfly because uh, those are the only kind I like. <laughs> and we will see if we can... There's a button to do this. That's right. I know what I need to do. Oh god, now I've got four viewers? Jeez, right as the stream is ending, I get a fourth viewer. It's like everyone wants to come in right as I'm going to end. Honestly, I'll, I'll run this right up to the wire. But, um, you know, I might have to... Once everything's done, I might just have to call it quits. Oh man, I've got so many Mimi songs just running my, through my head like right now. It's oh, it's great. <laughs> but 
But yeah, Steve, hope you have a lovely um, day, mate. Uh, it's night time over here. It's actually just about to go on to 10 p.m. Actually, speaking of, I should probably get some sleep myself soon because I have work at 9 p.m. 9 a.m. tomorrow. And I have an 8 a.m. start the following day. Woohoo for me. So Jack, how's the uh, work going, mate? You want to talk to me about that? Tell me how uh, it's treating you? Since you're also in fast food now, mate, so you know exactly how I felt. No. I'm, wait, what do you mean I don't have enough cash? Oh. Oh. I know exactly what to do here. Actually, better plan. No, just... Ah! So what we're going to do is we're actually going to sell a couple of the hand grenades, which will give us a little bit of extra cash. <laughs> you eat food. It's amazing. Mate, no offense, but that's how you get fat like me. Like, I kid you not. That's, besides, like, depression and, um, like, actual depression and, like, working that job, it, uh, it hit me hard, man. It hit me real hard. I wanna get it on till I die, get it on till I die. Yup, yup, remember me, yup, yup, remember me. <laughs> yes, got all the weapons I wanted. <laughs> and I think we'll pop a capacity on. Oh wait, no, we want a faster firing speed. Yeah, um, one tick. Just gonna meet myself for a sec. Okay, I am back, not sure for how long, but I just want to quickly say, TTV Jerome, thank you so much for the follow, mate. I appreciate it so much. You're a bloody legend. Now, like I said, I'm not sure how long I've got, because I am currently going to be doing some voice acting work for a D&D &D group, which honestly is my first time doing any voice acting for anyone, so I'm actually really freaking excited about this. Because I love to do different voices. You know, the like to give people some entertainment because it's a bit of fun. <laughs> but yeah, Jerome, if you want to pop in and say, uh, g'day, g'day, you're more than welcome to. But if you want to stay quiet and keep to your own little corner, if oh god, we just got more viewers. This, we have five viewers. Mayday, mayday, it's too many viewers. <coughs> oh god, I must be allergic to more viewers. <coughs> oh god, it might actually be true. <laughs> but yeah, welcome everyone. Um, if you enjoy Resident Evil and a crazy freaking Aussie yelling and screaming and having the time of his life to entertain you, then feel free to hit the follow button. And if you want to donate and help me out so I can finally move out of the basement and uh, finally get my own place, there's a donate area too. But of course, no one has to donate if they don't want to. Okay? Do not feel forced to. But anyway, like I said, welcome to the stream. If you look down below, you'll notice I actually have a streaming schedule now, which 
Holy crap, I have a streaming schedule. What the hell? Yeah, it's a bit strange because... Oh god, and the other viewers are gone. I lost two viewers in like a second. Am I that cringy? <laughs> oh god damn it. No, combine it. But yeah, Jack, uh, you're looking for any other work, mate? Because um, I heard... What can I... I heard my kind of job... Oh, wait, no, we don't want to do this. Actually, no, this might be good. Yeah. It looks like everyone's starting to join that voice acting... Ah, uh, voice acting. That D&D uh, &D game. I apparently get to play a character based off... Uh, <laughs> I get to play a character based Welcome. off... Oh, God. <laughs> off Goblin Slayer, which... I love his bluntness, just... Hello. <clears throat> yeah... Uh huh. Mm, yeah. Woo! R -r Reload time! Three prizes! Woo! Hmm. Anyway, I think that went actually pretty well. <coughs> oh, wait, no, everyone's gone. I uh, don't know who is here. I think, Jack, you're the only one here at the moment. But, uh, anyway, guys, I hope everyone enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please be sure to hit the like button on the YouTube side and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you haven't uh, gone to my Twitch stream, just go down below and there will be a, a little follow button you can hit. Anyway, guys, this has been Phoenix Animus, the Aussie, the man from Down Under. Thank you for coming out, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.